Hello everyone, I'm Derek. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you my top five uses for used motor oil. So just a couple things to note before we get into the top five uses for used motor oil. Number one being that there is some safety concern with using used motor oil for certain things. I guess it is a carcinogen which causes cancer so that is something to be concerned about and to know. The second being that uh, of some of these uses that I'm going to mention for it, used motor oil is not going to be the best option. In fact, when I think about it, used motor oil is not the best option to use for any of these examples, but it is a cheap option because it's basically something you would just be giving away back to an auto parts store or a oil change place when you drain it out of your car. and so. It is just some ways to save some money. One last thing, I'm going to discuss some of the other things that I've seen people use used motor oil for after I get through my top five and just explain why maybe I don't use them for that as much myself. So my number five use for used motor oil is just using it as a soaking lubricant. So the reason why it's my number five is because I hardly ever do this. It's just not a need for it very often that I have and that's why I have like no video footage of me doing it. Every now and again I'll have something that I need to soak whether it's like rusty parts, you know, older rusty tools or something that just needs a good oil bath. Again, I have nothing that needs it but just like take an old ratchet, pour some of the used oil in there and just let it soak. You know, old wrench doesn't need it but just like an old clamp or tool or part or something like that can soak it in there. Sockets going rusty. Most of my sockets and stuff are new so that hasn't been a problem for me yet but just just to give you an idea it's things like that. Things that just need some time to sit and soak in some oil to kind of break apart and break loose or just lubricate lots of little small parts and things like that. Like I said, very rare that I ever actually need to do this and that's why it's my number five, but it is something that I have done on occasion. So here my number four use for used motor oil is as a drilling or tapping fluid. So I believe Project Farm did a video comparing a bunch of different fluids and stuff including used motor oil. And I think the used motor oil was either one of the worst or maybe somewhere in the middle, but it definitely wasn't as good as an actual uh, good tap and drilling fluid. So that is something to keep in mind, but I've been using it for this for a long time and it, it does make a very noticeable difference in how well my drill bits last. And then also just it seems like my drilling goes a little bit faster when I use it as well. The biggest place I notice it making a difference is in how long my drill bits last. I've been using the used motor oil for that for quite a while now and I think it's another solid use for used motor oil. So my third purpose for used motor oil that I use pretty regularly is uh, just putting it back in lawn mowers to use it as oil. I wouldn't do this to any customer mowers or anything like that but any machine that I fix and flip if it doesn't have adequate oil I just add a little bit of used motor oil to it and then I let the person that's buying it know hey it's up to you it probably needs an oil change you can go ahead and change it or I can change it for you for x amount of dollars whatever but just know that the oil in there needs to be changed um, because I mean this used oil it's been in filtered in the car and everything it's fine you know I'm never going to take used oil out of a lawnmower and then put it back in another lawnmower but out of the vehicles where it's been filtered and everything I think there's nothing really wrong with it and it's going to work fine in a lawnmower. So my number two use for used motor oil is uh, just as simply as a lubricant. So I have these little Harbor Freight oil cans. They're actually pretty decent little cans. I did a little review on them quite a while ago, but uh, this is my used oil can. Basically, I've just taken this and in a few different instances, like for example, um, I used it to add a little bit of oil to some dried out bearings on a little uh, garden wagon that I had. Another thing that I used it for was uh, on my utility trailer, in each of the gaps of the hinge for my loading gate on the trailer, uh, just to add a little bit of lubrication because it's really hard to open and close. Now, preferably with that, I would just remove the pin, completely grease it up, and then put it back in to make it a little bit easier. Just for the time being, the used motor oil worked good. You can go around and just lube up little things that need a little bit of extra lubrication to run a little bit smoother. So for those of you that have been around the channel for a little while, this will not surprise you, but my number one use for used motor oil is just as a wood stain or a wood protectant. So really I've only used this for uh, my trailer and you can see me here rolling the oil out. It's, it's a diesel oil mixture. It's 75% used oil and 25% diesel. And uh, the diesel just kind of helps 
thin it out a little bit. But basically, you just put it together, mix it up, and then you start putting it on the wood that you need to. Uh, this is to just try and make this uh, old dried out trailer deck last a little bit longer. My dad's used it to coat other wood projects like a little sandbox that he made for the grandkids. I've seen it used for fence to stain a wooden fence and I've seen it for coating garden tool handles and things like that. So uh, it's a pretty good option. Just remember that used oil is a carcinogen and you'll probably want to use some gloves to protect your hands from soaking in that used motor oil. So for a lot of these different uses I use used motor oil out of my vehicles. So I like I said I use high mileage oil in both of my vehicles because I have older higher mileage vehicles and they do have some additives in there that are supposed to kind of help gaskets and seals and things like that. The other side of that coin is that this oil is all filtered. It's coming out fairly clean. Uh, when I take oil out of like small engines and things like that, that goes straight to the oil containers at the local auto parts stores to be recycled that way. And honestly, that's probably one of the best ways to recycle used oil is just to, to take it to your local auto parts store, like in O'Reilly's. I know pretty much all O'Reilly's is going to take it, probably your auto zones. I guess even some of your Walmarts and stuff will take your used oil. So that's one thing to consider. One of the reasons why I don't use used motor oil as a bar and chain oil is because bar and chain oil is a much stickier, more viscous oil and it sticks to the chain better. When it's flying around, it's pretty much just gonna be flicking off that used motor oil where the bar and chain oil stays with it a little bit more. So your chains aren't gonna stay as sharp as long and last as long using used motor oil. I think it's a seriously solid option. I just personally am willing to uh, shell out a little bit for the bar and chain oil, but that is, you know, maybe your bonus number six is using it as a bar and chain oil. Another interesting thing I've heard people use motor oil for, and this is actually a real recent one, um, I'm a really big fan of this YouTube channel called Just A Few Acres Farm. And uh, one of the things I heard him talking about in a recent video I will, that I watched from him was that uh, farmers sometimes will take this used motor oil and they will just coat their equipment in it. Uh, specifically, he was talking about, I think it was a, a hay tether. It was covered in what looked like grease and oil. And he was just like, there's no reason for that to be there other than I bet that the farmer took their used motor oil and covered the thing at the end of the season, every season, to protect the paint and everything. He also mentioned he heard a story about a farmer or someone in his area that had an old hit and miss engine. Basically, uh, this old farmer was covering this thing and used motor oil and uh, pulling it out and starting it every year on his birthday or something like that. And when the guy died or whatever and they went to sell it, they cleaned it all off and they had like practically perfect perfectly preserved paint underneath of it and it was just a, a cosmetically in great shape engine and was preserved really well by the used motor oil so that's another uh, recent interesting use for it that I've heard of. All right guys well that's pretty much going to be it for me for this video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it the thumbs up and if you want more content like this go click subscribe and then at the very least if you could go down and leave me a comment on another idea you have for used motor oil or just simply what you use your used motor oil for even if it's something I already mentioned it'd be cool to know what people are using their used motor oil for outside of my own reasons so again thanks for watching I hope to see you in my next video